Hi, grade 10 student. So in this video, we are going to do analysis of transaction that you also know as accounting equation. So please make sure that you chill, you watch until the end of this video so that you will understand all the principles that I'm going to simplify for you. All right. So this question paper, guys, is for March 2019. It was a common test. So also please make sure that after this video, go and watch the question paper for 2020, 2021, 2022, as well as 2023 and other question papers. So this one that we are doing, it was for 2019. All right, let's read the transaction. Analysis of transactions, you are provided with the information related to Mzala Traders, a business owned by Pilar Shop for months of February 2019. Required, analyze the following transaction according to columns provided, which is this one. Okay, assume that the bank balance is favorable all the time. Okay, charges our data H gamma is an example. This one, um, which is 52 rand interest on his overdraft account. So they show us that we have to debit a certain account and credit a certain account and we write amount. Then after that, we have to indicate whether it's a plus or minus. All right. So remember guys, before we start with our transaction, make sure that you are familiar with this principle. On the, on the debit side of assets, is increase and decrease on the credit. Then equity is opposite with assets, is minus plus, and the liability is minus plus, okay? Then this is the principle that we are going to apply when we debit and credit. Okay, number one, they say, should clearly supplier a creditor charge the business a 50 rand interest on overdue account so we are the one who got uh, been in char charged by our supplier okay they charge us an interest on overdue account which means that we were owing our supplier amount then they charge us what interest which means that in this case is interest expense okay interest on overdue so how are we going to record this one? Okay, interest is an expense, which means that we are going to do what? To debit under equity. Okay, interest on overdue. Okay, so this is different with the first one because the first one of example, guys, is us and what? Our customer. This one is us and our supplier. So it's opposite. A debtor's control is assets. Creditor's control is liability. So that's why in this case, interest has been debited. Okay. Which means that this is going to increase what? The account of creditor's control. Creditor's control is going to be created. Okay. Then amount is 50 rand. It's 50 rand. Which means that creditor's control increase because it's liability is a plus this side which means that liability is gonna be plus and remember this we said what is equity and is gonna be a minus very simple we don't have assets in this case okay then now let's go to number two number two they said the bank return the check of k rabada our data of 600 due to insufficient fund in other words, initially we recorded that we received this amount of 600, but bank noticed that this person doesn't have what money, which means that we have to do what? A reverse. Okay. In other words, at first we recorded that this amount has increased our assets as a bank, but no, that amount do what? Decrease our assets, which means that bank is, is coming this side and the other account that is going to be affected, of course, is the task control. Okay. Now the task control is going back to what? To plus side because that person didn't pay. Okay. It's going to be data's control. Okay. Then the amount is going to be 600. Okay. Then the sign is going to be plus and minus under assets okay it's going to be plus and minus under assets why because 
both two account fall under assets. This one has decreased and this one has increased plus minus. Okay. Then number three, goods sold on credit to SMK is there for 5,000 and the cost price is 3,500. So we have two entries that we have to do under number three. All right. The first one is goods sold on credit. Sales is income and income we record it on the credit side of equity. Okay. Which means that sales is coming this side and our equity is going to be a plus. And what about how do we sold this inventory? On credit, which means that our debtors control is going to increase assets. Our debtors control this side. Debtors control. Okay. Then amount is going to be for sales amount is 5,000. But we also have to record what? A 3,500 is another entry which is going to contain what? Inventory goes out of our assets. We no longer have that inventory because we sold it to, to our client. Which means that inventory is coming this side. Okay. And cost of sales this side. Cost of sales. Cost of sales is an expense. Must come this side. Which means that it's a minus and a minus. Unchanged and unchanged. Very simple. Okay. So the following uh, transaction. They said... Number four, the owner pick or pay withdraw a trading stock with a selling price of 4,500 for own use or for personal use. Okay, the business use markup of 50% on cost price. This is a drawings, guys. Number four is a drawings. Drawings reduce equity, which means that equity is going to be debited. Drawings and the other transition, he withdraw what? Inventory. It's an asset which is going to do what? To decrease. Inventory is going to decrease because the owner took it. The owner took inventory, which means that we have to do what? To credit it. Very simple. Okay. Now the question is, which amount are we going to use? It's not a selling price. The owner didn't buy. He withdrew, which means that we have to use what? A cost price, which means that the amount that we have been given, we have to show a calculation. 5,000 guys is a selling price, which we need to do what? Um, it's 4,500, sorry. It's 4,500, which we need to multiply by markup. Markup, we don't just say 50 of 100, guys. Now, because we are going down to cost price, we have to say 100 on top. And it's always 100 on the, on the bottom, but plus the percentage that we are given, which is 50, which is going to give us 150. Okay, this is how you apply markup. Then it's going to give us 3,000. So if you are given 3,000 and you have to go to 4,500 of selling price, guys, you say 3,000 multiply by 150 over 100. You put this on top, you do a versa versa of this. Okay, very simple. Okay. Uh, okay, for a cost of sales here, it was supposed to be 3,500. Okay, here we got 3,000. Right, then uh, now we have to show the sign. Drawings is equity, which is going to be minus. Inventory is assets, which is going to be minus. And unchanged this side. Okay, then number five, the last one. Before we go to the last one, guys, thank you so much if you have been watching until here. Make sure that you subscribe this video. Share with friends who are doing grade 10 so that they can also learn like you until you pass your grade 12. Also, guys, please make sure that you support us by buying a study guide that we are selling by only 49 rand. If you don't have money, guys, please make sure that you talk with your parents so that you can get the guide that is going to help you to get all these questions that we are doing and other questions that you are going to use for a practice that he has uh, have a solution as well. So the advantage is that once you buy our study guide, guys, we are going to add you into a WhatsApp group, which if you have any question about anything uh, which is related to accounting for grade, uh, for grade 10, which means that you are just going to ask us into a group. So we are going to help you immediately so that you can be clear for everything. Okay, now let's continue. Number five. 
Number five, they said the business issue a check for 900 to old mutual for insurance. Then they said 40% of this was for owner's son um, car insurance. Two entries need to be made. Okay, in this case, guys, um, the business pay, uh, pay insurance expense. We have insurance expense, which must be recorded under equity. It's a minus. Expense reduce equity. Okay, it's going to be two insurance, guys. Why two insurance? Because the other one is for business and the other one is for son of the owner. Okay, they said it's, it's 900 amount. Um, and 40% of this was for owner's son car insurance, which means that 60% is the one for what? For business. Okay. Both is going to be bank and bank. Now, where the remaining part is amount, guys. We have 900 in total. This 900 for business is only 60%. And for, for, for withdrawal, Okay, apologies guys. Here is not expense, but it's drawings. If the owner took something for his family or for his use, we call it drawings. So it's a drawing. It's a reduced what equity. It's on the right side. Okay, now which means that the other forty percent they said is for drawings for the owner's car insurance. Okay, which means that we're just going to say multiply by nine hundred. And we'll get answer my blood by 900 and we'll get answer okay then for business is going to give us 540 and for personal use it's gonna give us 360 okay 540 and 360 very simple so it's going to be bank is an asset you know that and it's going to minus our assets okay then drawings is equity is going to reduce Equity, insurance is an expense, it's going to reduce equity, minus, just like that. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to go and watch uh, the other question, which is 2020. Uh, I also have 2021, 2022, as well as 2023. Go and watch them for the same chapter so that you can master everything. And also don't forget to buy a guide. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you on the next one.